I'm Anil Kumar. Here is a video which will help you to practice find angles in parallel lines. The question is find the measure of each indicated angle. You can pause the video, copy the figure and find the measurement of all these angles, right? Let's begin by finding angle A which is inside a triangle. Sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, so measurement of angle A will be equal to 180 degrees. Take away these two, right? So take away 48 degrees and take away uh, 52 degrees, correct? If calculator is allowed, use the calculator. Otherwise, uh, you can just do this math, right? Minus 48 minus 52 equals to 80 degrees. So measurement of angle A is 80 degrees. Okay, now how will you find angle B? Angle B is an alternate angle. It gives you a Z pattern, right? So this is a Z pattern. These are parallel lines. So you can straight away read measurement of angle B as equals to 48 degrees since these are alternate angles. Okay. Now, you know A and B. Let me write down A as 80 degrees here and B is 48. Now C will be 180 minus some of these two, right? So measurement of angle C because it forms a linear pair. That forms a linear pair. So it will be 180 degrees take away 48 degrees. Take away 80 degrees, right? So that is how you can find C in this case. So let me use the calculator once again. So we have 180 degrees minus 48 minus 80. So it is 52 degrees. Okay. So that gives you 52 degrees. You could have also found by using corresponding angles, right? So, so these are corresponding angles. These are parallel lines and corresponding angles. So that is another way to do it. It could be found by corresponding angles. Okay. Now we can find, you can see the patterns here. You have a Z pattern. Now in these two parallel lines, it is better to use triangle itself to find measurement of angle E. We can say measurement of angle E is equals to 180 degrees take away these two, which is 30 and 48, correct? Okay. So 150 take away 48 is 102 degrees, okay. A measurement of angle D will be equals to 180, it's a linear pair minus measurement of angle E, right? So which is equal to 180 degrees, take away 102 degrees, correct? Okay. That is how you find D, right? So it is uh, 78 degrees. So that is how you can find all these angles. And I hope these steps help you to review the concepts which you already know. Thanks and all the best.